Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Learn With Me series. And today I'm going to learn ChatGPT API that became public just like maybe a few days ago. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, March 1st. Today it's March 4th. So uh, let's go through this blog post of there and let's uh, build a short application. Just check it out, how it works. I'm going to use Node.js for it. And uh, let's see. So uh, in this blog post, I believe they introduced two APIs, ChatGPT and uh, Whisper. So let's, uh, let's look into it. Well, first of all, they achieved 90% of cost reduction for ChatGPT API. And uh, that means it will be much cheaper, 10 mm -hmm. times cheaper than uh, Da Vinci 003 model that they used before mostly. And I mean, like, that was available publicly. Um, I tried to use it before. It was fine, but not ChatGPT level. Okay, here they seem to introduce some um, examples of implementation of Snapchat and some other companies. So some companies already used ChatGPT API before it became public and uh, now it's available for us. So this is the model name that we should use instead of DaVinci 003 and they changed the uh, SDK and the API input a little bit so we still provide their, them a model uh, but now instead of prompt and temperature and all of that we provide messages so each message like messages is an array like in a chat you have a list of messages and uh, each each message is from someone like role user is from you um, and role assistant would be from the chat GPT um, basically it's blah 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 and here we have whisper API which is like you provided mp3 file with some voice recorded and it converts it to text I believe such things were available earlier on uh, some cloud providers like Google Cloud I used it there uh, but different model uh, okay let's go to the API guide and see how we can use it. So this this is Python example, but I believe not JS example would be not much different. So you just uh, use this dot chat completion and provide it model and messages. And this is response. Let's look at the response. Some ID, model, tokens used and the, the answer it says answer itself okay this is good um, looks quite simple let's create our API key here don't worry I will remove this key after the recording is finished and uh, I made an empty folder here for our project, so let's uh, scaffold a pnpm repo with package JSON file, and let's install uh, OpenAI uh, SDK. Oh, I need to update my pnpm. Okay, so here we have just one dependency, and let's define a script. So we will have index.js file. We will do this uh, video all in JavaScript, but uh, feel free to use TypeScript. I, that just for simplicity, I don't want to go through any any bundlers and vid and stuff here. So I'll just uh, use native Node.js, Node index.js. Okay, and let's make this file. And let's uh, just console log hello world. 
and see if it all works. PNPM start. Hello world. Okay, so <clears throat> what we are going to do is we need to save this API key into end file. Then we are going to import the OpenAI uh, SDK and we are going to send it some prompt and output will be here just like this hello world. Okay, so let's start with dot end open AI API key. This is a key. Then Oh, by the way, I think OpenAI provide about $18 of credit for you to play with their uh, APIs. So it's it's free, basically, and you can go and start without attaching your card, which is pretty good. Okay, then uh, let's import. I believe for import and not require, we need to use type module. Oops, module. By the way, this is first time I use uh, VS Code instead of uh, WebStorm. So if you see I, I miss some nice features of VS Code, please leave me a comment below. Oh, also for, for reading.env, let's install .env. Okay. Now. We just need to configure dot n. Uh, I believe it's config function that we need to call, but let's import it. Okay, and let's check that our API key is visible now. It should be in process and yeah, somewhere there. Now we have quite a bunch of um, environment variables, but OpenAI key is here. Okay, cool. Now we need to also import OpenAI stuff, uh, but I don't know what exactly we need to import. So let's go to the API docs and let's uh, look for some examples. Okay, okay, okay. I'm interested in the Node.js examples. It should be somewhere around here. API reference, I guess. Okay, this is what we done already uh-huh I don't have organization I use just personal um, account here you can see say in personal mm-hmm mm -hmm. so this is configuration and this is call to one of their uh, methods already so let's check it out. Let's move import section to the top. Configuration. Yep, this is it. And open AI. Okay, let's let's try this thing that they provide. I don't know what it outputs, but that would be good check if we can use their API. Okay, we got some response. The data here, uh, yeah, we need to we need to get the data out of response to see. It. Yeah, basically it's like all their models, I guess. Uh, let's see if they have chat. What is it called? Chat. Ah, GPT 3.5 Turbo. Okay. Can I search in terminal, please? No, I can't. Okay. Maybe you know how, how I can do that. Uh, okay. 
the node seems to be sorted by the model name but it's like not many of them here so oh here it is okay it is ready seems like we can use it so let's copy it and uh, I think we need a function something like a sync function uh, let's call it just chat and let it take prompt and it will respond uh, return the string so return uh, answer we'll call it okay this is model name so let's look OpenAI, I remember it had uh, types included, so we have nice autocomplete here. By the way, let me turn on focus mode. Okay. So let's look for chat, create chat completion. I think this is it. And we have some options here. So I remember it was an object with model. And this will be our GPT 3.5 turbo and uh, messages. Messages should be an array. So it seems like we can just go with this one message from user and that should work tell the world about API and the style of the of a pirate nice okay let's try it out so we have ah, we need to get response out of it response await uh, and I think there was an example of their um, response model okay Choices, message, content. Uh huh. So, const answer, response, data, choices, zero, message, content. Okay, we probably need to do some try catch here in terms of. It might not work, but for now, let's just try run it. So we need to await for chat. Well, we don't use prompt yet, so let's just try this. Will we get our string? Will we get an error? Oh, we got something. I hope you made these. <laughs> okay, so we got something. This is nice. Now uh, let's start using prompt here. So we can give it our own prompt. And now we need to uh, make it used here. Okay, what do we do? Um, we say say hello to my youtube subscribers uh it's just 20 -ish of them yet will it work hello to my amazing subscribers <laughs> i cannot express gratitude okay this is nice um Basically, this is it, but let's see if we can get any other stuff out of it. So maybe there are some uh, nice configurations that we might use. Oh, okay, so we can implement a chat. So to make GPT API keep track of the context of the messages we need to save the message that was original one then the answer that our next question and so we keep track of the messages i believe it's scaled to some amount of messages i remember the maximum for 
chat GPT was 4096 tokens or something like that. This is quite plenty. But uh, it might lose, lose some context uh, in the end. But I see we can have role system here which is kind of a configuration of how it should behave. So let's check it out. So messages, instead of making role user our first one, let's say um, answer as a, well, let's keep pirate for now. We'll change the output style. Ahoy something. <laughs> okay. Um, so basically, this is how you can configure your uh, assistant to behave. Like you can give it context, I believe, of your application, of how it should answer. Let's imagine you sell uh, cosmetics and you want a chat, support chatbot. So you probably need to give it some context here. Like, hey, we have a cosmetic online shop and you are a support bot. So, you know, we have this amount of some promotions, feel free to mention them, but basically help our uh, clients with anything they need. Uh, so this is it. Let's see if there is anything else. I think this is basically how I use the original chat GPT here without any any specific configurations. Um, yeah, it seems like you can give it some additional context like what's current date, etc. And they keep uh, releasing new models. Um, as far as I understand, their release cycle is they make such an you know uh, model suffix available so you can use it but later on when it's stable and they're ready to release it it will replace the original model with the new version okay so here they introduce how you can set up it and fine tuning is not available well I think this was it. I'll go and play with my new custom, my own chatbot, and I wish you do the same. Have fun. See you.